looking at top 10 WWE games of all time. Today is WrestleMania Day. Well, t today and tomorrow. Let's go to the video. For the average Let's go, man. WWE's games is a safer way to live out your sports entertainment fantasies. True. Say jumping off the roof of your Um, y'all know who I'm going for. I'm going for the chosen one. I'm going for the GOAT. I'm going for Roman Reigns. That have averted countless such ill-advised attempts to be a pro. Oh, this is back whenever you can wrestle um females. Slash E banner. And hey, while it's my favorite, um, I'm going to turn it up, but my favorite uh, WWE game is uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 on the Xbox 360. Alright, let's see IGN's list. Oh wow! Start with we didn't book this list. Two thousand four. Without consulting our roster, the IGN audience. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Face off, giving us a capacity crowds worth of data to work with. Okay. There are a handful of surprises and no small dose of nostalgia. So what's number the ten? Attitude era that showed up in the results. But without further ado or any more wrestling wordplay, let's ring the bell. Let's go. That, that was more wrestling stuff. Sorry, I'm done now. All right, it's number ten. It's number ten. Okay. 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 This is like the first one, right? We find ourselves in okay. The days of the mid Not bad. WWE Smackdown versus this Raw. is the first one, the I think. represents a fairly major shift for WWE as well. The oh my God. Is coming to an end, and the silly invasion storyline is getting smaller <laughs> in the rearview mirror. Meanwhile, the brand... Bro, I missed the invasion like storyline. Just a few years prior, was popular enough to gamble on... Oh, look at the moving Smackdown screens. The clean and dirty mechanic was a weird little blast as well, giving even the kayfabiest fans a chance to lean into a gimmick and be rewarded for it. Meanwhile, the stare down and test of strength style mini games, including a bra and panties match Ooh. spanking mechanic that snuck in at the tail end of the Attitude Era's influence, offered a little more of what the live wrestling. How come I didn't play this game? Oh, you also create mini, mini, bro, remember Eddie Guerrero? Championship mode for when creating yourself in a wrestling game just isn't enough. If this list of WWE oh my god. Was the Royal Rumble, hey, Triple H was cracked back then, bro, in WWE like games. I mean, obviously it was Triple H, but like, you know. For a respectable run in the ring, but ultimately you forget he was there. And the Undertaker. The Undertaker was like unbeatable. Number nine. WWF. I've never played WWF SmackDown before. Number nine, we go back to Y2K and the beginnings of what became the WWE 2K series with WWF SmackDown. It was a welcome change from previous entries on the PlayStation. Uh, yeah, I never played this one before. I've seen like this game before, but I never played it. Sixty-four games, which, not to give too much away, might do a run in and attack this. Is that Eric? Bi I thought spots. that was Eric Bischoff. SmackDown is also a little notorious for the things it got rid of. With no commentary, you had to wrestle to a bizarre mix of stock house adjacent music and a steady okay. form of fan noise. It was. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, like WWE, like in the, the game and the game in real, real life needs commentary. Bro, look at the rock. Look at his neck. Choice. Oh my! On look at his note, neck. Now, the hardcore and steel cage matches were an absolute <laughs> must of an inclusion. What are we even doing? It's crazy that the Rock is still like wrestling to this day. That's crazy. Have unimpeded violence on the menu. I think I get injured just watching the TLC matches. With the Dudley Boys, the oh my god, with the Andrew Dudley Christian Boys, All I, I remember say, them. It's a solid enough way to kick off a new series. This is a game that would have had two memorable spots during a Royal Rumble before getting dumped over the ropes by the 15th entrant immediately. So, landing at number nine on our list feels about right. All right, what's number eight? They, it better not be 2000. I swear to God, I bro, what? This is number one. That's not even a full percentage point higher than our number 10. We jump ahead to the 2007 edition of WWE SmackDown. This is number Raw. one. Landing on the Xbox 360, it's the first WWE game for a 7th gen console, and immediately it took advantage of those sweet, sweet joysticks. Are we serious? The analog control system introduced in the game made the action. Bro, realistic. listen, Kane in this game was, was like unhinged. Oh, yeah, you can go over there. Oh, my so God, I remember this. And then you can jump the off the, 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 the thing. Red Triple H is on the cover. This may be my own bias, but nothing says 2007 in the WWE quite like a soaking wet Triple H screaming on the apron, baby oil from his hair streaking down either True. side of his chest, True. having undoubtedly just spit half a bottle of Crystal Geyser onto the front row. True. It's sticky. You can run into the oh my, bro! I didn't see somebody jump off like a table, whatever, right? Like right next to the radio. That was classic. Yep, you get another thing. The game might have gotten bonus points in our face off for being a bigger highlight for wrestling fans than the actual. Shimmy, shimmy. 2007 SmackDown versus Raw made this list feels more of a testament to something. Bro, this would be number one, bro. It isn't spectacular for anything more notable than being our first chance to play WWE. Oh my God! Look at bro! Imagine, imagine Big Show. Nostalgia could be the tiebreaker between this game and. 
the games that finished 11th or 12th, just a percentage point or Nah, this behind. is number one. I don't so, care. To sum it up, Wet Hunter 2007 in the number eight spot is like the time Diamond Dallas Page entered the Rumble to promote his yoga program. It's nice to see a guy whose better days you still remember. Diamond Cutter. Before we move on what's to the next few picks, what's number six? I want to remember oh, no, sorry, yeah, how yeah, number six. stupidly popular The Rock was in the Attitude Era. Oh, of course. That probably goes without The Rock saying, was menacing. Don't forget that in the real world of determined outcome grappling, SmackDown as a brand was basically The Rock's spin-off show. Like, basically, bro, bro this man ruled SmackDown, bro. Seattle ...while Stone Cold kept running the bar in Boston. Having popularized laying the smack down on candy asses, the game series moved on to borrow more of Dwayne's completely over verbiage for the next three games in the series, which also happened to be the next three spots on our list. Because I'm frankly a little confused as to how that happened, I'm going to talk about them in one oversized segment. Wait, hold up. So, for our numbers seven through five, we've got WWE SmackDown Know Your Role, Just Bring It, and Shut Your Mouth. Oh, oh, hold up. These are, I mean, listen, these are good, so bro, but like, no, 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 no. At number seven, winning 67.7% of its no. matches. Oh my goodness, whoa, whoa. SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. Dropping just months after its predecessor, WWF SmackDown, in 2000, the game had options galore. While previous wrestling games featured them, Know Your Role had the first properly advanced create a superstar mode. Okay. Crafting your it's actually not bad, I'm gonna be honest with you. With for a game as old as this, really gets what for a game that came out in the 1800s, not Which bad. just telling yourself, I could do that without serious Bro. injury and believing it. Oh my role, god. Now that I think about it, is a thematically perfect- Was that Al Snow? First I don't remember Al Snow. Mode offered you the chance to prove you understand bro stephanie wrestling. mcmahon is gonna absolutely later, whooped by albert bro wwf smackdown just bring it dropped another of the rocks mike gyms to herald the return of commentary to the action but while it was the first smackdown game to feature michael cole and taz talking with bro matches, michael cole's a legend was the last to feature the wwf branding for the world wildlife fund kurt angle oh my Splash god kurt angle was a straight Corporate. school threat while just back bring then it bro. also includes six and eight man match formats those were subsequently ditched for over a decade and a half this game is the meat of a smackdown sandwich it's a mid-card gimmick match in the forgettable here's the thing though i've never played i never played uh an event or i, I never played this game before of royal rumble allegory just to be honest i never played this game before big show confrontation near the halfway point of the rumble where they somehow eliminate each other because nobody else is strong enough to get them over the ropes Meanwhile, two years after Know Your Role, the SmackDown series finally finished The Rock's signature catchphrase with Shut Your Mouth in 2003. Oh my god. It's another incrementally better game in the series oh with my the god. graphics so the wrestlers looked more like the wrestlers. And while I personally love being able to climb and jump off is the that Jeff? Who was that? Is that Jeff Hardy? Find this game along with Who was that? Predecessors occupying all three spots in the middle of our list. Perhaps it's a nostalgia thing. Oh my god, look at Booker T. First years, the We're coming for you. <laughs> got into wrestling That's Matt Hardy? That's not Matt Hardy, bro. With one another, so they all kind of split the vote. Regardless, SmackDown's early 2000 intro. Oh my, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, the like state face. I can't remember which rumble it was that Kane eliminated himself when <laughs> the orderlies tried to look take at, him back. Bro, to look at Kane, Kane bro. Kane, I think Kane, Kane looks better without the mask. The That's just a hot take, in my opinion. The WWF WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, arguably the first officially. Oh my WWF God! Game dropping in 1999. This man got Game Cubes all over his body. High watermark for pro wrestling's popularity. WrestleMania 2000 won over 70 percent of its matchups in a face-off. It's also a game that makes me feel oh safe saying God. that N64 stuff was all unimpeachably great, while also taking no follow-up questions on the map. While it was the first time you could edit the superstars, and the idea of putting Chris Jericho in Shane McMahon's tracksuit would be worth the price of the cartridge just in case it was oh, possible. Oh. The truly incredible thing about this game is how the development of it mirrored the business of the time. The Monday Night Wars weren't really a contest anymore, with the WWF lapping the WCW in popularity by 1999. It would be another two oh years God. before the McMahon straight up bought the competition, but True. the rivalry between the two companies extended into the video game space by the late I think, night. I mean, obviously WCW it helped out. NWO I think the rivalry between WWE and, w and, uh, and WCW helped HQ out was a wrestling, beloved wrestling game tremendously, but... So, the only natural who am I, what am I to say? WWF in 1999 
would be to ditch a claim. You know what? Number one, oh my god. AKI. Number one, I think should be WWE 2K13, in my opinion. Because WWE 2K13 was amazing. Superstars from the WWF roster. The huge database of move sets and customizable options in the creator wrestler area that already exists. Yeah, I, in the I'm gonna be honest with you. I never really WWE played the old uh, WWE games before. I'm gonna be honest. WCW wrestlers that got left behind, which is such an on brand middle finger from the WWF to their oh my god. vanquished competitor. Oh, who was that? On after the bell had already rung. As far as the actual <laughs> game goes, though, it laid a sturdy groundwork for subsequent games, including the one that landed number one on our list kind of like the guy that's already feuding with the champ coming into the rumble in the 20s somewhere you Wait, just what? know he's going to end up winning so they can square off the rest of me all right what's number three Oh no! WWE uh -huh. 2K4 oh, won 71% no. of its no. matchups in a face-off, earning it a spot on the no. in this top 10. No, list, no, which no. Is wild, considering where the series was just a few years ago. No. WWE 2K20 uh, nah, was no. such a train wreck no. that they just said never mind in 2021. I'm and sorry. From scratch for 2K20. Graphically, so listen. If 2K20 was the end of a heel turn angle before a wrestler takes. A a graphically, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. To the roster, but no, I don't think so. To his title run with 2k24 with a more reliable foundation built with a year off 2k24 okay was third year we'll let it go row that has been about layering the bells and whistles back into the gameplay and as a result 2k24 feels complete in a way that wwe games just haven't in a very long time wwe 2k24 built on the solid foundation of its predecessor by not only polishing and improving every it, it looks good board, it looks good don't get me wrong it does perhaps anyone expected for an iterative WWE it looks good i'll be ambulance honest and casket matches were a welcome change to the grappling action and the return of special guest referee mode the first time we've seen it in over 10 years bro the rock is that bro that man is too big to be referee bro flipping austin twin birds when he put the black and white stripes on himself there's a recency bias with this one, sure. But Roman Reigns does look good in this game. does feel like a feature complete wrestling package. And oh my goodness. previously reserved almost exclusively for our top two in this match. What's number two? Okay, I agree. We have to jump back Here comes the pain is, okay, WWE I agree, Smackdown I agree. This is a game I did play. This is a game I did play. Smackdown, here comes the pain, yes. Here comes the pain. All right, okay, cool. That, honestly, this this belongs at number two. The best of the Smackdown bunch before the series changed. This belongs at number two. The Elimination Chamber showed up in the game for the first time, as did the Bra and Panties match. Although the aforementioned... Bro, I'm going to be honest, I never watched the Bras and Panties match. I never watched that before. That would have to wait for another year. The game also featured legends for the first time, with all-timers like Rowdy Roddy Piper, Sergeant Slaughter, and the Iron Sheik. That you couldn't pit the Undertaker's dead man gimmick against George the Animal Steel in a bra and panties match feels both not surprising and like a missed opportunity, however. The thing that gives this game a lasting legacy, though, has to be its career mode. It had an RPG. This guy's mic is like a little low. Players like, I want to turn it up, but also, like, I don't want the music to, like, you know, be too loud. But, you know. More off the rails. This game is the face that takes a good long run through the rumble. The one you want to win the whole thing, but comes up short in the end. What's number one, though? See, IGM, bro, they like to play, bro. What's number one? So, here comes the payoff of my TLC match comment from way back in number okay. nine. On the list of things that tug at my I don't think so. I don't. I. I. Where's where, no? No. Trying to no. Lose a tag team belt twenty. Because SmackDown versus Raw two thousand seven should have been number one in my opinion. No shot. Shout out to this game and 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 their nature, but I don't think so. I don't think so. No 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 no. I don't think so. No. Twenty years now. And at just a tick over an 80%. I don't think so. There's no the shot. Proof, no way. Continues to be everyone's favorite. You know what? It is what it is. That's their opinion. More accurately, at least four out of five people's favorite. As the class of the Oh my god, y'all remember Rikishi? Which I've already made my feelings clear. Additions like the ladder match and backstage brawls brought more of what was popular in ring at the time. While the creator wrestler function continued to expand in a career mode that branched in all kinds of directions was an obvious upgrade over WrestleMania 2000. There's something about that combination, catching everything that was wild about the height of the Attitude Era and channeling it through easy to get grappling mechanics has made this game more enduring than every other one on the list. Modders are still actively adding new wrestlers to the playable roster. And even AEW Fight Forever was an attempt at recreating No Mercy's Magic. Oh, oh my goodness. Perfect. It chugged as soon as four players showed up. But it nailed the most important thing. 
capturing the essence of a wildly popular time in wrestling history, which is why we think it's one of the best WWE video games ever made. All right. Okay. What do you think? Agree with this list? It's... Uh, I slightly disagree. I got SmackDown vs. Raw number one. I got uh, WWE 2K13 at, like, number... At number two. And then I got, uh... Um... Uh, hmm... What's, the, what's my number three? What's my number three? I think my number three has to be... My number three... My number three has to be... Uh, I mean, WWF No Mercy was alright, but, like, I number one, like, I, I saw gameplay on it, but I never played it before. Like, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I never played it before. Um, and I'll probably say, like, my number three is probably... Uh, no! I'm sorry. Number one, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007... Uh, number two, WWE 2K13, and then number three, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. That's what I would say. Comment down below, what is your top three WWE games? Uh, yes, it is WrestleMania Day. Tomorrow's WrestleMania Day as well, so I'm definitely watching. <laughs> and we all know who's winning, bro. Acknowledge the great one. Come on, bro. We, we, listen, I, listen, I don't even have to say his name, okay? Number one, he, he's going to win, okay? The, the, the little, what was it called? The little Cody Crybabies, they're not going to win, okay? The chosen one that acknowledged the GOAT, okay? He's literally going to win, okay? <laughs> See you guys later for next to the mouth.